Since I could not find an enclosure that would hold everything, I am mounting the electronics components on 3 8 inch thick acrylic. After deciding on a layout, I marked the holes for drilling. Here I'm using a 1 quarter inch diameter drill bit, but I am not drilling all the way through the acrylic. I am only going in about a quarter of an inch, drilling at a slow speed. I remove the protective paper from the acrylic where I have drilled all the holes that I need. I will be mounting the various boards using 632 machine screws, which are the same thread as standard PC motherboard standoffs. However, some of the components, such as the Arduino and the Dioff robot relay boards, will need to sit high above the acrylic so I can access the jumper pins underneath. I was able to find some one inch long standoffs at Jamco, who also sell round threaded spacers. Here I'm gluing three sixteenth inch long spacers into the holes. The standoffs will be screwed into these. Here's the electronics chassis so far. We have a dual voltage power supply. And one of these relays turns on when the prop is triggered. The other turns on the crank motor. Here's the ELK120 soundboard. And here is a custom analog input terminal block and 9 volt voltage regulator for the Arduino and the DF robot relay boards. One of the relay boards connects to a barrier strip for the AC powered pneumatic valves. These valves are connected to a small manifold which is fed by the large accumulator tank. Here's the first test of the accordion mechanism controlled by the Arduino. 